Jose Mon. Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Sunday Talk, episode number 148. In this episode, uh, as always, I'm going to go over five uh, I 130 questions or immigration questions that I received from you guys. Uh, I will go over NVC update of this week for some of you guys who missed my Tuesday update. And also, I have another powerful quote for you today. If you are new here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent resident, and also U.S. citizens regarding the, you know, mostly the I-130 process. And sometimes we talk about different topics. Before I start today's video, I want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. So guys, uh, let's start with the powerful code that I have for you today. Uh, today's quote is coming from Dr. David Hawkins. Here is the quote. Healing always involves facing truth with rather not face and accepting responsibility with rather not accept. Again, healing always involves facing truth with rather not face and accepting responsibility with rather not accept. I think it's a powerful quote because sometimes uh, we run from our problem we don't want to face uh, our problem uh, we don't want to accept our responsibility in whatever it is that is happening to us but by facing your problem by accepting your responsibility you're gonna feel better you're gonna you're gonna heal yourself basically okay so i think it's a powerful quote and uh, let me know in the description below what do you think about this quote so guys uh, let's start with the questions that i have for you today basically questions that i received from some of you guys okay so the first question is coming from infanta dyer here is the question hi john listen to your comment on um, very good um, my son gets his visa but on the paper they gave him with the package and say i can pay for his green card online before he come to usa is this for real thanks for your reply well, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, I made a video about this one uh, probably like um, a month ago, if I'm not mistaken, probably three weeks ago, regarding immigrant fee. So immigrant fee is the fee that you pay to get your green card once you come to the United States of America with your immigrant visa. If you don't pay the immigrant fee, then when you come here, you have to pay before you can get your green card. So if you don't pay, you won't get your green card, basically. Okay, but it's better to pay that in your home country be before you come to United States of America. That way, it won't take that long before you will receive the green card. But if you pay it here, it can take, uh, you know, many months, you know, several months uh, uh, before you can get your green card. All right. So, guys, uh, let's move to the second question of today's video. This one is coming from ABRJ. Here is the question. Hi, I uh, have one question. I'm a U.S. citizen and I have applied I-130 for my wife on March 20, 2022 and meanwhile is uh, pregnant. As well, uh, the current processing time of the uh, Paramax Service Center is 10 to 13 months. I think uh, the baby may be delivered while I-130 is uh, pending. So what should I do now to bring my baby to USA as an immigrant visa uh, along with uh, my wife? So thanks for the question. I talk about this a lot on uh, this uh, channel. So since you are a US citizen, once uh, the baby is born, all you gotta do is to apply for CRBA, which is consular, uh, birth, uh, consular Report of Birth Abroad. You apply for that, then after that, you can apply for U.S. Uh, passport for the baby. That way, the baby will come to United States of America with um, uh, your spouse. Okay, the baby won't get a, 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 a an immigrant visa, but uh, will use a U.S. passport. All right. So let's move to the third question of today's video. This one is coming from O.D. Clement. Here is the question. Please, sir, I have any of your appointment coming up soon, and they asked me to bring on sponsors on recent IRS uh, transcript and uh, any relevant uh, W 2s. So what does W 2 stand for? Explain, please. Well, thanks for the question. What W 2 basically is a form um, that provides uh, annual annual wage and uh, 
taxes and we held uh, of uh, the uh, the sponsor or basically or you know the joint sponsor or the principal sponsor so it's a form that you know collect those information that provide the annual wage like annual income and also that's it. that's what it is okay so let's move to the fourth question of today's video this one is coming from uh, gami and barb sir good morning uh, if I'm using a co-sponsor, do I still need to submit my own documents such as W-2 taxes or I will only upload documents on the co-sponsor document and that's it? Well, thanks for the question. So if you are a principal sponsor, you don't meet the income requirement you ha and you have to use a joint sponsor, as a principal sponsor, even if you don't have any income, you still have to file uh, the affidavit of support and uh, you know you know provide a, uh, like a statement you know that uh, you don't have income therefore if you don't have income there is no financial document you're gonna prove you're gonna provide okay and then on top of that the co-sponsor the joint sponsor will uh, uh, fill up the affidavit of support uh, and also uh, provide um, any financial document but in case you have income but income your income is low as a uh, principal sponsor you are still gonna fill out the affidavit support and so on uh, and submit those uh, supporting financial supporting document okay so that's how you do it not just the co-sponsor you the principal sponsor still gonna provide those document as well and then uh, let's move to the last question of today's video this one is coming from Rabia Carter here's the question hi Mondon thank you for always uh, helping us out on in your guidance again uh, i want 30 we have submitted all paperwork my mother-in-law lives with my husband and kids and we add on uh, her as a household member as instructed by nvc now just uh, one paper they require from us and that is a uh, proof of relationship between my husband and his mother we submit her birth certificate as well as my husband's on birth certificate is already there Everything else is accepted. Please guide us on what document exactly they require as we are unable to find on their website. My limited knowledge says we submit my husband's birth certificate again under my mother's name, but I'm not an expert. Please guide us on counting on your valuable clue. What well, thanks for the question. Usually when you add uh, a household member and they as you you know like proof of relationship between a household uh, member and um, the uh, petitioner well in this case uh, since the household member is your the petitioner's mom or the petitioner's uh, mom's birth certificate should be enough but if you don't want to you still uh, doubting or maybe on uh, nvc gonna reject it so you can even though your husband birth certificate is already there you still can uh, you know make a copy of the, uh, his birth certificate and then uh, you know also a copy of uh, your uh, mother-in-law's birth certificate make sure you translate those on birth certificate in case they are not in english or uh, and then uh, add it um the translate on uh, copy on top of the original copy put them together in one uh, pdf file and then uh, submit it to nvc i think you're gonna be fine just by uh, submitting your mother's in laws um, birth certificate all right guys uh, like i said at the beginning of this video uh we're gonna go over nvc update quick and so this week nvc announced on the website that they are working on cases they received from uh, uscs on april 19 meaning that some of you guys uh, will receive your welcome letter soon maybe in three weeks or a month but uh, especially if you are immediate relative okay and then uh, they also uh, mentioned on the website that they are reviewing document they received from some of you guys on february 13 you know some of you guys on uh, who pay fees and submit document well uh if you submit your document around that time well they are reviewing those document and then uh, they will let you know if uh, there is a document missing uh, or not okay and then also the third update always emails on uh, they announce on the website that they are responding to some of the emails uh, you send them uh, on march on 11 so make sure you check your in uh, inbox uh, to see if you receive an email from nvc national visa center okay guys and um, basically that's all i have for you today 
Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you learned something from this video. If you know somebody you think might benefit from the video, well, share the video with that person. You know, don't forget to like, click the bell, and also subscribe. Before I let you go, whatever you do today, do it peacefully. Thanks for watching, and I talk to you in another video. USA Monday.